welcome back to the show and tell show. It is all of us. And I think you know our names for now, unless you're new here. So let's introduce ourselves up at the top. We've got Jan over at Penetrating Machine Centennial. In the middle is Genevieve Carter and me, Nahani, over at Herony Museum. And down in the bottom there, not to be forgotten, Nicole Jackson over at Penetang Machine Centennial Museum. You challenged us last. No, I challenged you. We challenged yes, you. Yes, you did. We challenged you. Bring up something new and shiny. Something that is just, you know, happened recently and we need to preserve it because that's what we do. History is always happening and we're always taking care of it. So what is our new shiny thing, Genevieve? Is a baseball cap from... Central Taxi in Midland. Ah. And this was given to us by a young man by the name of Jeff Fillingham. And that name should ring a bell. Back mm -hmm. in 2013, Jeff was a 21-year-old uh, man. He was, like all 21-year-old men, very socially active. Um, however, Jeff also had has, still has, um, cerebral palsy and he's confined to a wheelchair. And while he was able to make his way around town uh, in the wheelchair and using public transit, unfortunately, uh, the public transit did not run on weekends or in the evenings. So Jeff was interested in finding a taxi service which would um, uh, transport disabled patrons on throughout the area, Midland Penetang. And uh, luckily for him, the owner of Central Taxi was interested in the project. He purchased a van and um, Jeff uh, fundraised the remainder, I guess, seven and a half thousand dollars to mm -hmm. retrofit the van. And uh, he was given a number of awards for that project. So uh -huh. very important. And uh, yeah, so thank you, Jeff Billingham, for your story and for this very important artifact. That's Good choice, thing. Genevieve. Good choice. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if you've ever had a chance to meet Jeff, but no. he is, yeah. he's a lovely individual. We used to do, we used to do a YouTube thing too, where we interviewed people from around the community who were doing stuff. And that's where he gave us the hat was, you know, oh, just okay. so that, <clears throat> that story. You know, it's hard to just keep stories. We know this because we talk about oral history projects all the time. And it's, you know, for us in museums, it's a lot easier if we have a tangible item. So, and that's what he gave us was his hat so that the story could for always be remembered here. And yeah. And if you are interested oh, in that's that, a great story. That interview is still up online. Yeah, it is still up online it somewhere. Is. Yeah. Oh, okay. Great. Very good. What do you have in Penetang Machine? What's new? Shiny and new. Well, our story is probably not as uh, as nice as your story is, but there is a theme. It has to do with transportation as well. So uh, what we have is this was actually donated in 2019, you know, way back in 2019 before we knew what was going on. And it's actually a parking meter. <laughs> But it's a parking meter from our main street in Penetang Machine, which no longer has paid parking and hasn't had paid parking since the 1970s. So this was actually the last paid parking spot um, contraption that we had on the main street. And the person who took it off and kept it for many years decided to donate it to the Penetang Machine Museum because it was the last. And it is always interesting to collect these kind of artifacts because I think we all recognize this as, mm -hmm. you know, a parking meter and you put your money in there and you kind of flip this and right now it says violation and it would say paid. But anyone of today, they would not recognize this at all because the technology when it comes to parking meters has changed so much. Now we know it's all done digitally. I know that there's new ones in, in Midland where you can use an app and, you know, you just kind of pay that way and someone knows whatever you paid. So even though to me this doesn't seem that long ago, Definitely, um, it is something for a museum because it is the last one in our town and they'll never look like this again. And it was very much, this was sort of the standard for many years in the 1900s. And it will never sort of look like this, you know, before or after that time period. So that's why I decided to 
show you that one. <laughs> is it, Nicole, does it tell us how what it cost, like how much were you to deposit for a certain amount of time? It doesn't. Okay. Um, but I would imagine the top, like the top up here is the minutes. Okay. Um, I would imagine that would change based on the rates because this was around for so long that yeah. you know, maybe if it started, I know they had paid parking throughout the 50s, 60s, and 70s on the main street here, and then they got rid of them. But I would sure that when the rates changed, that's why they didn't have it right on the actual um, thing here. It's just. I remember that cranky thing. Yeah. Yeah. But remember, you, you yeah, always right had there. like change in your car. Yeah. yeah. In this case, you had to pay a parking meter. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. It does have. I'm, I'm sorry. On this yeah. other side, it does say it. One cent for 12 minutes. Woohoo! <laughs> they actually two, took pennies. Two, three cents for 36 minutes, two cents for 24 minutes, and four cents for 48 minutes, and a nickel for an hour. <laughs> and the, the max was an hour on this. Wow. Up top there. So a nickel an hour. I think we should reinstall these. <laughs> <laughs> well, they only have one. <laughs> you, should put the, you should put them in at the museum in your parking lot when visitors come. I'm sure they'd love to just, just for the nostalgia. That's true. That's yeah. true. Yeah, just for the nostalgia. So, yeah, we do collect new shiny things. Like, history is always happening, and there's some new shiny things to our collection. But what's our challenge for next week? Well, our challenge for next week is something to do with beverages. It could oh. be an artifact. It could be a recipe. Heck, we could even maybe have our favorite beverage while we're talking about beverages. Well, that's <laughs> exciting. I, I I don't know if legally I could have my favorite beverage <laughs> while we do this, if we're doing it during work time, but. <laughs> no, but we, we, can, we can meet afterwards and talk you about go. what we have our favorite yes. beverages. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so something beverage related. That is awesome. I'm sure we have some, I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure. Okay, so we'll see everybody next week, same time, same channel, or a little bit off because sometimes things happen and we get stuck behind by a day or whatever. But we'll be back next week for sure with beverages, something to do with beverages. Bye, everybody. Bye.